the correct system. <laughs> Telling you a little bit about the story. But she did say, I really want to, there's that long story that you do. And say, well, John McCutcheon was playing in a club. And uh, while he was playing, he kind of was sitting in his dressing room. And this elderly gal, an old black woman, came in cleaning. And just kind of wandered in. And she said, just what is it that you do? And he said, well, I sing songs and I'm kind of a storyteller. She said, oh, really? Well, I'm kind of a storyteller myself. Why don't you tell me a story, and then I'll tell you a story. So they sat there and swapped stories, and this is a story that she told him. And it's one that he had heard before, but never really knew if it was just a, a, a myth or, or what had gone on. And then uh, he had the chance to be playing in a folk festival in, in Europe, and uh, realized that every night that he played at this folk festival, there were these four old, old guys that would come in, and they'd come down the aisle and stand at the front of the stage while he played. And then when he got done, they'd turn around and they'd leave. And every night that he played, they would do that. And he finally thought, you know, what's the deal? i got to figure out what's going on. So he jumped down off the stage the last time that he performed. He ran back and he caught these guys, these four little old guys. He said, hey, I want to thank you for coming. Every time I've played, you've come, and I really appreciate it. But what's the deal? Why? And he said, well, we, we come because of that song. They said in this broken kind of a German accent, and he says, what song? But they said, that song that's on the radio about the, about the Christmas in the trenches, because we were there. Oh, my name is Francis Tolliver. I come from Liverpool. Two years ago, the war was waiting for me after school. Germany to Belgium, to Flanders and to here. I fought for king and country, I love dear. It was Christmas the trenches, where the frost so bitter hung. The furrows and fields of France were still, no Christmas songs were sung. Our loved ones back in England would toast us on that day. They were raving funny lads so far away. I was lying with my best mates on the cold and frozen ground. When crossed the lines of battle came the most peculiar sound. Says I, now listen up, me mates, each soldier strained to hear as one lone German voice rang out so clear. He's singing bloody well, you know, my partner says to me. Then one by one each German tongue joined in the harmony. The great guns rested silently, the gas cloud rolled no more. As Christmas brought us rested from the war. After they had finished, and the reverent pause was said, God rest ye merry gentlemen, struck up some lads from camp. Then the next day sang was stealing on them, to silent night, says I, and in two tongues one song filled up the sky. There's someone coming toward us, the front line simply cried. All sights were fixed on one road, figure judging from their side. His peace flag like a Christmas star, shone on that plain so bright as he bravely strode on into the night. Then one by one from either side we met their nobles. With neither guns nor bayonets we met their hand. And we shared some secret brandy and we wished each other well. And in a flare lit soccer game we gave them hell. Shared cigarettes and candy bars and photographs from home. These sons and fathers far away from families of their own. Young Sanders had a squeeze box and they had a bio then. This curious and unlikely brand of men. But morning stole upon us soon and French was France once more. With sad farewells, each man began to settle back to war. But the question haunted every man who lived that glorious night. 
whose family have I fixed within my side? Whose Christmas the trenches where the frost will bear? The furrows and fields of France were worn, the songs of peace were sung, and the walls they built between us to exact the work of war had been crumbled and were gone forevermore. Well, my name is Francis Tolliver, and that's where I dwell. Each Christmas comes since World War I, I've learned its lessons well. That the ones who call the shots won't be among the dead and lame. And on each end of the rifle, we're the same.